Over the years, bounty collection has changed a great deal within Destiny 2. It is true that collecting bounties coming into a new season is not as valuable as it used to be. However, it is a key component in any strategy to try to level up quickly within Destiny 2. Not only will allow you to get to your power level and your soft cap, your hard cap, and your pinnacle cap faster, it will also allow you to get bonuses and items on your seasonal pass and in your artifact that will enable key builds that you will need in the new season. In this video, I will briefly go over what will be the key bounties that you should be collecting now so you're prepared for Witch Queen. In addition, I will go over the key activities to give you these bounties and probably the most efficient way to level these up. So again, in this video, I will not be going over how our XP works. I have another video for that that you can look at here. I will also not be going over what's the best, most efficient way to level up the new season. I will be coming out with a video on that soon, but if you want to see one from last season, this will give you a kind of general idea of how that works. Bungie has put a lot of work into actually simplifying the bounty system within Destiny 2. In the past, it almost seemed like you need a spreadsheet and a slide ruler and an abacus to figure out what was the best way to get XP within Destiny 2, but now they've made it sort of simple. Every bounty goes into three categories, XP, XP+, plus, and XP++. Plus plus. Your XP are typically 4,000 in XP, and those are typically your repeatable bounties within the different vendors. Your XP plus are 6,000 XP, and those are your daily bounties with the, each of the vendors. And then you have XP plus plus, which are typically weekly bounties that come from a limited number of sources. And I'll go over those in just a few minutes. So you have 63 slots on each character that you can even collect quests or bounties in. And with those, you're gonna to wanna to first concentrate on your key weekly or XP plus plus bounties. They come from a limited number of sources, so let's go over that. So the primary sources in the simplified system from Destiny 2 are basically your primary planetary vendors that are in non-DCV content. And let me give you an example of that. So in the current game, that would be Shadowkeep, that would be Beyond Light, and that would be the Cosmodrome that also came in with Beyond Light. Each of those vendors, that's Shahan, that's Varix, and that's Eris, both have two weekly bounties that have XP++. So what I would recommend the first thing to do on each character is to go in and do the weekly bounties on each of those characters. While you're completing those weekly bounties in those areas, pick up the daily bounties from those areas as well. So again, that will allow you to most efficiently, while you're picking up the weeklies, you can also work on those dailies and you can get those done for that particular week. Once you complete that, then if you've purchased a 30th anniversary edition, you can additionally get a weekly bounty from that vendor as well. So that will give you, and you can do dailies again as you're completing that. So then that'll give you all of your primary XP++ bounties. That will give you some XP+, because you've done dailies. Basically at that point, just continue to iterate on that through the different weeks until you, there is a limit on the rotations where you will not be able to do any more weekly bounties, that's fine. You can fill up your characters, do that on all three characters. The other thing I would recommend then is Iron Banner has four XP++ bounties that you can get. I would try to do those on every character possible. Finally, from Hawthorne, the other thing that you can do is that she has four bounties that are for doing weekly activities of your clan. Those are Gambit or Raids or other things like that. That's a pretty easy way to get some additional XP as well. So again, guys, it's a pretty simple video. In the past, we've spent a lot of time and effort trying to figure out the best bounties and where to go. Anything that I've not described, anything from, let's say, the Tangled Shore or from any of the repeatable bounties, those are things you want to avoid. Stick with what I'm telling you and you'll easily be able to, with your three characters, to get up really quickly within your seasonal pass to get to those XP bonuses and other bonuses that you'll need in the next season. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, jump on my Discord, and I'll see you Guardians in the tech.